That time I got catfished. You're texting her and it all seems good. You go on the date. Well, you know, not exactly something I expected. If we shave the beard. Welcome back to another greatness of wrestling subreddit video. 20k members. You know, it's time to celebrate, ladies and gentlemen. I would pop a little bit of the bubble. But I've just ruined my mood by making a five-year-old joke. Shinsuke Nakamura's vignette ruled. Having him speak in Japanese with subtitles is the best way to go. It allows his charisma to flourish. It presents him as calculated because he knows about Seth Rollins' weakness. This was so chilling. Sorry for not making a review, but I absolutely loved this promo. I do agree, the subtitles really help and Shinsuke Nakamura can actually show his charisma. It's kinda nuts that WWE didn't think of that idea before. At first, I didn't care about this rivalry. But Shinsuke Nakamura revealing Seth Rollins' injury absolutely changed everything. Seth Rollins is most likely going to win. I know. But it gives Shinsuke Nakamura an advantage. And in a way, it completely changed Seth Rollins' character. I might be reaching a little bit, but I believe this is my favorite thing Shinsuke Nakamura did in the WWE so far. Which is the greatest WWE commentary duo ever. Jerry Lawler and Jim Ross. Paul Heyman and Jim Ross. We're going old school right here. Ah, you gotta love this one. I think I would say that Jim Ross and Jerry Lawler is the most iconic. The one that entertains me the most nowadays is definitely Pat Man McAfee and Michael Cole. In general, Michael Cole, big Coco Jumbo vibes. His face. Man, I really hope we're going to get one more edge match. I'm not ready for this. LA Knight tearing the place down. Ya yeah, boy is selling that merchandise. I randomly opened WWE.com. Not sure why. Who does that? What's the point? But ya yeah, boy is on that SmackDown cover. Love to see it. Oh, Sonny, how things have changed. I can't believe I used to jack off to you. Damn, girl. Kids. People around the world don't do drugs. I kind of want to laugh, but this is just sad, man. What the hell happened? I've recently watched an episode of Dark Side of the Ring. It was about Chris Candido and Sonny. A wrestling world can be so freaking sad, man. Said this many times, I'll say it again. The Miz is the most underrated superstar ever. Well, we on this channel, we absolutely love The Miz. I've said it before, I'll say it again. No matter how many times this guy gets buried, he gets back up and makes you care. I could be wrong right here. He had like 34 matches this year or in the past 12 months or whatever. Uh, guess how many matches he won? One. No, I'm, I'm telling you. One match. Why? I think what culture back in the day made a video about how The Miz doesn't belong in the Hall of Fame. Well, I think you're nuts. As a wrestling fan, I think both fan bases are awful. WWE fans, AEW fans, other wrestling fans, you're both just awful. It's crazy to me that people still find it fun. You open Twitter, people are still arguing which show is better. It was fun for like a month when we actually had competition between NXT and AEW. Who gives a shit? Just watch everything. Who we all got. You know, I still think Saffron is going to win. Hopefully Shin is going to do something interesting after the match though. He's been doing nothing for way too long. Bro, WTF is this? Man, Mark is feeling a little different right now. Mark is not a gamer. The only thing he does is watch wrestling 24-7. Dude is probably like, oh my god, I gotta play full Kiyaki now! I'm still relatively young. 24. Ah, I feel too old for this shit. I don't know my problem. Damn right, the Mysterios rule North America. I've seen a rumor of people saying we might get unification match. I wouldn't mind, but both title designs are so damn good. I don't want a change. I don't want these championships unified. Was Brett better than HBK? I don't know, man. I think during their prime, they were probably close, but Shawn Michaels is that entertainer. Bret Hart is a wrestler, Shawn Michaels is a sports entertainer. That's the biggest difference, I feel like. When I started watching wrestling, Bret Hart was no longer wrestling. I would have to go with Shawn Michaels, man. He's literally possibly one of the goats. What do you think about this WWE Championship belt? This is an AI generated title and why does it have two WWE logos? People out here complaining about a one WWE logo in a championship. AI said, what about two? This man already made history. Did you know LA Knight has won more Slim Jim Battle Royals than Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar combined? One, zero. Absolute GOAT. And you might be saying, well, Roman Reigns is a former champion, Brock Lesnar is a former champion, more titles than you can count. Well, then I would respond, what do you do with a championship when you get back home? Sure, it looks nice. I have one.
I don't do anything with it. Well, what do you do after you win a Slim Jim Battle Royal? At least you can enjoy it. LA Knight the GOAT. Any questions? This is your brain. This is your brain on drugs. Man, I'll say it again. It's, it's just sad. She did it to herself. Obviously, I wish she was smarter though. Edge and Christian main event, it's Magnum and Collision in the same week. Tremendous. It's nuts because there was a time when both men retired. So how did that happen? It seems like nowadays injuries that were deemed career threatening are no longer that. Because Edge came back, Christian came back, Daniel Bryan came back, Paige came back. What the hell is happening? Sheamus and Cesaro reunited. Love to see it. A tag team I wish I appreciated more when it was still around. I would like to see this match. Bobby Lashley versus Braun Breaker. We probably will see that match at one point. Here's something that will probably shock you. Look at some of the pictures of Braun Breaker. Looks like an absolute Chad, right? An absolute macho man. What if I tell you he's 25 years old? I'm 24. Do I just leave here? Dude, the jeans are strong on this guy. You what? I traded my brothers for SmackDown tickets. Well, you may judge the guy, I get it, but at least he didn't do it for Raw. Seeing Shawn Michaels on SmackDown just feels weird, lol. Yeah, there are certain wrestlers you just can't imagine watching on different shows. Like, what the hell is even happening right here? I also felt that way about The Undertaker on Raw. This was the best rivalry of Edge's second WWE run. You know what? I would have to agree. Gave us the best matches too. My WrestleMania tier list of the last 15 years you know what i think this is pretty much spot on i would make some changes but for the most part i would have to agree and here's the thing john cena versus the rock in my opinion is the biggest wrestling match ever anything like this will probably never happen again. Will Roman win the World Heavyweight Championship before retiring? Well, the bigger question is, will he lose the championship he has now before he retires? I don't know, man. I'm not ready for that conversation. My man is still holding these three belts. We gotta chill here, right? Edge was on top of his what now? Edge was on top of his gay man tonight. He was like, if this was... Yeah, Edge was on top of his gay. His own gay. Yeah... That's not what I said though. On this day in 2020, Roman Reigns made his return as the tribal chief. It was so shocking, man. I think that's when he made his return, right? Like the legit first time. And I remember he acted so aggressively. He kept attacking these dudes in the ring and we all were kind of confused. The idea of Roman Reigns turning heel wasn't really in our heads. We were like, maybe this is a new, more aggressive character. And then we saw the guy with Paul Heyman backstage. Absolutely shocking. Thank you for watching this video, guys. I really appreciate it. 20k members, that's absolutely crazy. Why don't we keep on growing that number? And why don't we keep on growing that Coco Jumbo? I say, let's do it to the moon. The great one. Peace, love, and hugs. It's been a pleasure.